All right, peace and blessings, family, love and light. It's your brother, Omni Amanashi, also known as Omni Omnis, the nature guy. Like I said, I am the divine masculine, all right? I am the light, melanin, a solidified biomass of the sun. And no European ideology or way of thinking can influence my DNA and the instructions and the encoding of my DNA, all right? Like I said, nature is what I love, my sanction. Nature is life. Nature is the origins of the universe, of creation. And I don't believe that Europeans are spiritual, nor do they have uh, the ability to tap into, like, high sciences, ancient sciences. You feel me? Um, and so there's always going to be, uh, uh, you know, a, a disagreement when it comes to culture, information, and certain stuff like that. I feel like, because I just came from a, a live on a, on a TikTok. White guy was doing a live. He, he was saying there's no soul. He was saying that the Bible is false, which I told him I agree with that. I believe that it's ancient revised literature. And then he said that the universe was not created. Now, creation is when you put something together. When you take something... And then you put it together to make it into something. Now the word photosynthesis, phos, meaning light in Greek, and synthemimi, meaning synthesis or synthesis, all right, are the words of photosynthesis, and the translation means light arrangement, to arrange with light. And it refers to the nuclear fusion process that happens in stars when Elements are created, which are the fundamental basic ingredients for life, and it's a process of adding atomic mass, right, and electric and positive charges, all right? And that's what makes different elements. And so anyway, I'm doing a video on alchemy that's about to drop soon, but like I said, I had to do this video because, like I said, uh, Europeans, they're not... Afro, they're not of our culture. They're, you know, they are beings or whatnot, just like us, but we're different. We have different coding. That's why we look different. That's why we behave and think differently. All right? And so, them saying that there's no soul, they said, I told them that the word soul, S O L, comes from Latin, right? The, the, the English word soul, S O U L, comes from Latin. Saul, S-O-L, which literally means son. They told me that doesn't matter. Etymology doesn't matter. Etymology shows you the history and of, of, of linguistics, right, and, and, and language. And so just like we got the word Lucifer in the Bible, it comes from the word lux and ifer, right, which one means lux means light and ifer means bearer. So the translation in Latin, which is 500 years before English, which was the dominant culture of the time, right? When they would say those words, it, was, it would mean bearer of light. Even though, according to the Bible, most people believe that Lucifer means the devil. The name means bearer of light. That's the etymology of it. So these European people told me that etymology doesn't matter. There is no soul. So they're not even proving that intellectually, you know, like showing me step by step, this is why there is no soul. I'm trying to tell them that we have an electric charge. We have ions, right? We have a stream of particles, a field around us that can be de detected by a system, by a device called a magnetrometer. And it, 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 you know, you're able to detect magnetic fields. You feel me? So like I said, I told the Europeans, there's a difference between life and death. When you're living, you have energy. You have an electromagnetic biosphere. The Earth has a magnetic field called the Van Allen belts. They told me that's not true as well. I don't know where they're getting the information from. But I want to have discussions about reality, about consciousness. And I would like to have good conversations, but, you know, I'm really uh, disappointed how it went. You know, like I said, it wasn't intellectual. Nothing really came out of it. Just Europeans in their feelings being delusional. 
getting rid of our son, God. Bring on in Jesus. You know what I'm saying? We still waiting on him and still ain't seeing him. You feel me? And so the colonization, the whitewashing of history, making us believe that, you know, Christ was European, taking the image of Christ. And, you know, what I'm saying? even with the black Madonna and child, that's Mary and Jesus in the ancient world. You feel me? We got that in, and we got that in, in, in Germany and Europe. In different places around the world where you can see those sculptures from the ancient past. And you see that jet black. The mama jet black, the baby jet black. And those are older depictions of the Christ and Mother Mary. Alright? And so, like they, like, you know what I'm saying? Like they say, the further you go back in history, the black they get. You know what I'm saying? So don't get mad at me. Go do your research. You know what I'm saying? If we was on the computer while I was doing that live, I could have went up there and had it on the screen showing them exactly the definition of what I'm saying and then go step by step, but they kept cutting my microphone off. That's why I don't like to deal with them like that. You're not intelligent. You're not making sense. You're adding chemicals to the periodic table that don't belong there. Look at the bottom row of the, of the periodic table. All of those are synthetics. None of those are natural elements. And then you got Carl Sagan up here talking about they done found an alternative to carbon and, and, and the, the alternative is silicon. And so they working on silicon bonds. You know, they got the Silicon Valley. You know what I'm saying? The Vatican. You feel me? And so they got this obsession with silicon. You know, when females try to get, um, try to get like, you know, get their boobs bigger, boob job, or, you know, get a butt job, BBL or whatnot, they were putting that silicon in there. And there's videos online showing you where people were getting infections. All right? That's parasites inside of that. You feel me? And so anyway, silicon bonds are not better than carbon bonds. Carbon bonds make diamonds. Some of the most complex structures to even make. Like it's made under some of the most harsh, the most extreme conditions of heat, temperature, and pressures. All right? And so this stuff they talking is pseudo to me. You know what I'm saying? The way y'all live with this Madison have, having a hundred side effects. Y'all pseudo. You quit to call Dr. Sadie pseudo. You, you quit to call any type of teacher that's a, that's a, a, a black educator pseudo. They did it to um, Leonard Jeffries. Call him pseudo about his melanin theory. And I'm, I'm on his teaching y'all, showing y'all about Melanin being a cosmic connection, right? We're able to be in the sun. We're able to have our DNA synthesized the same way that plants are synthesized genetically in the sun. They're stimulated by sunlight, all right? That's what happens with us. It takes two hours for melanin to be stimulated by light. Now your DNA is synthesizing just like a plant. And so with a European, they get melanoma skin cancer. You hear in the word melanin. That's the root of the word melanoma. Oma meaning cancer. All right. So it's a melanin cancer, a tumorous cancer that forms from exposure to sunlight. Now, like I said, the plants grow from sunlight. Vegetation grows. You feel me? Gives, giving us oxygen so we can breathe. But the same thing that's giving everything else life is hurting certain individuals. It's not hurting people of African descent. All right. When you look on the pyramids, you look on the temples, you see the people depicting themselves as black and brown. All right. And so I didn't draw it up there. I didn't write it up there. They wrote their cell phone there. All right. So y'all need to chill with all that, man. Y'all coming up with this Jesus Christ. We ain't seen them, never heard from them. There's no tomb. There's nothing in, in his. Uh, there's no veneration. There's nothing to show that this was a great person of the past. They say, oh, he rose. You know what I'm saying? Just Santa Claus type shit. So even with our children, like I said, teaching them Santa Claus, teaching them the Easter Bunny, teaching them uh, the Two Fairy, all of that. That's teaching belief. Europeans are very belief based. They got rid of the sun with uh, uh, Pharaoh Akhenaten. There was some politics behind that. There was a, there was a, a um, there was a invasion by the Ptolemies around that time. And if you y'all notice, uh his son, Pharaoh Tutankhamun, he died like 18 to 19 years old. 
You feel me? And so something happened with his father. And then as soon as he got the rulership, something happened with him. It's kind of like the story of, um, of Simba and um, Mufasa in the, in the Lion King. Somebody wanting to take somebody else's title, what they have, coveting. It's like the video I posted on Facebook about the white girl wanting to have her hair like the black hair. You feel me? And that she, those were her words, what she said in the video. Their hair is beautiful. It's pretty. I wish my hair could do that. I wish my hair was like that. That's how all this stuff started. Now, we the sun people, the solar people, we have real gods. Our gods exist in nature. Sun god, moon god. These are real deities. When they, any other system talk about their gods, they're all fictional. They don't exist. You can't see them. They, not, they don't make no direct impact or influence on this reality. But the sun and the moon makes a direct influence and impact on this reality. If anything happened to that sun or that moon, it's life over. Life over. And so I just want to let that hit home. There's people out here playing. They're delusional and they're misleading people and they're miseducating people. All right. They miseducated us by making us believe that we came from slaves, not teaching us about the Moorish Empire. You know what I'm saying? How King George III was the original uh, ruler of the land in the 13 colonies before the Declaration of Independence in the American uh, Revolutionary War. Now, there was a man, a black man, that owned this land, that got his face on currency, all right, on bills, on coins. I believe it's coins. Yeah, King George III, his wife was named Queen Charlotte. Charlotte, North Carolina is named after his wife. These were the people who were of great prestige back in the day. When we went to school, they didn't teach us that. They let us see roots. You feel me? And we, for the whole time, we think we come from slaves. So while we in slavery, they got politics out with the anti-literacy laws. Catch a black reading, you know what I'm saying? That's a crime. And while we, while we was going through that, the only person that was reading, like I said, was the the black who who was going to be the preacher. The preacher was allowed to read so they could read the Bible. All right. So other than that, won't nobody read it. And while we was going through the slavery, you had King, you had uh, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte doing excavations in Africa, vandalizing tombs, tomb raiding. That's where the tomb raiding come from. Europeans going, taking the relics, taking the values, taking the Jews. You know what I'm saying? Taking things of great importance from the ancient tombs. And even like the British Science Museum, there's a lot of African art in a British museum that comes from slavery, colonization, colonialism. You feel me? So it's not fake, family. Like, this shit is it's really real. But anyway, I ain't go, you know what I'm saying, hound y'all to death with it, but I just wanted to do a response video to these Europeans out here. That's, that's teaching and they're trying to get things to go a certain way and they wanted to believe that, you know, we in fairy tale land. They then gave us Jesus and got rid of the sun God. So I'm telling you that they're creating a delusional reality. All right. Creating synthetic elements, plastics created by Europeans. All right. I can do a video on, you, on it to show you who discovered it. All right. And so anyway, like I said, they are creating this alternative reality that has no affinity to the natural world. You're trying to separate yourself from nature. They're trying to do cyborgs. They're trying to, they're trying to have it to where you're able to blend your biological uh, uh, anatomy with a machine, knowing that a machine is not even living. You feel me? A machine cannot exist alone without human maintenance. Given a natural disaster, something like that happened, the machine over. It'll never, it'll never function again. And so, you know, to exist on this plane, you have to have a biological suit. And the melanated biological suit is one of the best suits you can have. And so that's my point. And so I ain't going to hold y'all all night because I got work tomorrow. I'm going to get on up out of here. But black power, peace to the, to the kings and the queens. We out. Get up with y'all on the next one. All right.